So guys, my name is there. I will be... Timer connected to some. Uh, what's it called now? Some pusher for me, I guess. Up here is where you drop the sand, and it's just basically forms like that all the way up. And this is where you get the sand. Sorry, so I'm trapped into. Where's the hole? What the? I'm confused, yeah. So, usually there's a hole there, which drops down, which you can block off if you want to. But that, that's not needed, honestly. Um, I could make a full yard there, probably with a command block in PC, but unfortunately, I put this on Xbox, and it can't be bothered to rebuild it on PC. Anyway. Um. Yeah, anyway, the tutorial. So. Oh no, I've got this noise. This is where I get to in the furnace. Put into the chest. Into the dispenser. Just boils it up. To another a piston bouncer thing. Boils it up to another piston bouncer thing into these droppers and into the chest. Anyway, so the right one crashing down there that does all this. So to start off I'll be doing this part which Test it out. Don't need levers. So now, okay, this is so. You'll need a piston, piston here first, piston forward. The one right diagonal, I believe. I'm, I'm not good at my north. How is right doing north east and west? I don't know. Then. Last one goes here, facing um, to the left. Yeah, there. Which what we'll do is there'll be sand, so push it to there and there. So push it to there. So I'll simply do this put a repeater on each of the. What's my call it? What's my call it? Um, Pistons, and then okay. Oh. Then you need to do a timer, redstone timer, no, timer, I, um, redstone continuation. I, I, I don't know. Basically, first you need to first piece of redstone, of course. And do a row of any amount of repeaters and go around and do it again and that's one way to do it but at the end you have to link it up like this to there 
so se for example no. that's a timer but to make this work you need to gosh you don't want to go too fast here we might want this to go really fast but the, the problem gosh, um, so generally going three times makes it as um long time <laughs> so then you just have to connect it up to the redstone oh there we go I'll put that to push. There we go. That's simply how to do the first part with a simple redstone timer. So three pistons. Of course, if you want to keep it automated, you're going to have to do this. Like I done a tower to the edge of the earth but hey if you want to make it go down the pole and not force shivers too many obsidian doesn't move at all you can't push it with a piston or anything well it will be pushed by a sand block at least but yeah, next up that's that simple part you don't need this part you can just easily push it down into the torch. And this one's a bit complicated because of because of how the hoppers are. Hoppers. So you're going to need a hopper and the, and the torch. And a furnace for this. So you're going to need to send it to a chest here. So to start off, say it's, say it's being pushed to here. Oh, there we go. So don't want to sound right. Okay, so you'll need right, right, right. So you need to dig out the ground a bit, of course. If you're gonna have it in the ground, you can have it above ground. But I'm connecting it to this. So it's a bit easier to show how simple I could have actually made it. Right, so, place some furnace there, hopper there, and the torch on the hopper, if I'm correct. So all I need to do is place. Yep, got that right. I have that right. So. Now that that's in there, of course you need to fuel it. Um, there, put that in. So basically, what will happen there is the piston contraption will push. Uh, oh wow. Needs a drop, doesn't it? Can I have a look? Let me have a look. My bad. It needs a drop. Basically means furnace there. Needs a decent drop, that's all. You don't if you don't want it to push just right on top of you. So that's right. There. So it should now put the block of coal in here. Shazam. That's it. Right, work for next time round. And there you go, it's in there, it's cooking. If you want to be really careful, you could um, place this around it, so you can place a block around it so it doesn't go anywhere else. I generally don't need to do that. Which then you can. Okay, I hope I do this right away. Is it this? They've got the awkward part of trying to reach the furnace. Nope. 
Oh, of course not. You have to connect it like this. No, no. You have to put it under it. Yep, there we go. I need to now work out, is it like this? Oh, I know how it goes. I know how it goes now. I know how it goes. I come back and place it like this. So, put the sand gets pushed. Fall into there. Get cooked. And once it's cooked, it'll go on to. No, no, no. Once it's. One six puts it goes down here. Food into the chest. That is pretty much all you need to do. What you could do is um might work. So move it um why so uh, here, just, just uh, yep, like that, to a chest, just need to replace these now, this I didn't do because I was stuck. Do this, it should oh, there we go. It should go into this hopper. My you know I'm having these problems. I don't know how to make it go up yet. So that that that's why I use the piston contraption. Anyway, so that that is simply the main part of it done. If you want it to be a bit fancy, you know, I just want to launch items. You could do the um, slime block system thing. And that part I will do separately. So I'll say if you add this reason here sand, glass, you put this to it, on the ground of course, so what you need is a dispenser now, basically, yeah, dispenser into, whichever way you want to put the slime, I'm putting it here, then you, so you could draft face it opposite, in the opposite direction, you technically want it to go, because um, what the oh, yeah, of course. Oh, of course. I know what I did wrong. Right, so what's that there? You need to put the chest on top. Forgot about that. It's a bit awkward if you don't know how to make it go up like I don't. But then it should go to the dispenser. I'll take this out for now. Then, what you need to set up, um, piston, no, you need a sticky piston, and you need to place obsidian around the slime block, or where the piston is, because the slime block will pick up anything around it, pretty much, so, you know, you sand, sand, slime block, slime, where's that, there it is, there it is, down here, no! Oh well. Anyway, so you put the sign block there. Squidgy. 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 Yeah. So this is gonna be awkward. There. Is that? Yeah, yeah. So that there. 
Yeah, yeah, I want that. Yeah, okay. So, you know, block it on the oxygen. So, what I need to do, as per last time, make a redstone clock. You can make it multiple ways, like I, like here. This is a different version of the redstone clock. It's just a square, circle. I've no, it's, it's most likely a square because it's Minecraft. Yeah. So I need to lever it, of course. So that there is the second way I know. Spell the best one. Timer. Timer. Why do I keep calling it timer? I don't know. What you basically need to do is send it to the piston and the line block piston. And then need to link. Yeah, this is a way to get the item up if it's if you've got hoppers and you don't know how to use hoppers to do that, like me. So that would say, for example, torch. Then you just load that. So put a piece of sand in there. That is how it would work. If you want to push it across, you can either out, out. You could is this possible? Nope. Very movable. Right. You can't push your hopper over it. So really all you can do is this is the awkward part. This is how I've learned to do it. If I find a better way to do it, I'll probably that's it. Say corrections. This is how to correct it. Right, so voice there for a second. Anyway, that yep, that goes up. So what you're gonna need now is the slime block piston. This is the most difficult thing to link up. You have to try and link it up so that piston goes up and they fall at the right point which can get really annoying as I've proven by it took me ages to actually link it by making it so it's really hard to get timing done so yeah. fast. Okay, so there we go. Add some more. Then I move this across. Okay. So floor. This is what I went through. And we're going for it again. Somehow. Right, so. It's not too fast. Right, too slow on it. You know what, she does hit that first. Okay, okay, so I honestly forgot how I did this last time. Put my feet air to keep the signal going, because that's also what they use for. And go to here. So it's a bit too fast again. 
Uh, make this a bit longer. This is the laborious task. Right. Too fast now. Okay, so. Too fast. Right, too fast. This. Maybe. Well, I don't know. Slow this down. So. What way to start on this? Uh, um, lever. Right, let's see if this works now. Too fast again. Too fast. So. Get too slow. And then. So I'll just copy the reason it's better. See if it does it right every time. Usually the speedier, like this. So to try and put in um, so it comes up. It's not. That's where to get it up and across, but it's also a bit annoying because if you want it really close. I have to very clearly block it off. Like high, like that. Which you then have to put it into a hopper, I believe. So I have to drop into a hopper. Somehow, something going to the into um right no right this progress takes a bit you have to crouch move there you don't use a chest say you want a chest here but in you would put this put that put that put that put that put that there So that that blocks off. You've seen it's blocked off. Only one path to go. Only one place to be. And then um, I think I'm every there you go. And then it should yeah. Oh no, camera's moved. Camera's moved. This ain't going up. So. Okay. So the camera's been awkward. So I'm going to end the video right now. Of course. So. Let's go this bit by hand. Thank you for watching, everybody. This was the redstone tutorial. All you need to do there that is try and link it up. Check different timings for repeaters. I've basically shown you how to do that. You don't have to copy how long I do it and all. So yeah, this has been the 
Redstone tutorial thing. Probably won't do any more of these. Probably won't. I, I don't know. It depends what comes and what doesn't. So, have a nice day, evening, whenever you're watching this, if you're watching this. And I'll see you in my next video, hopefully.